Alright, hey, this is Brooke Jelly. I'm trying to do a, a short demonstration video. Um, on a Vici Dial box, if you already have one that's set up and configured and you need to add a new agent and a new phone, this is the basic way to go about that. Uh, you go into the administration area, um, go to users, add a new user. If you're going to add a user, uh, I like to do my number sequential, so I'm just going to call this agent 2002. I'll set the password to 1234. I'm going to delete it in a minute anyway test user. Um, if the agent's not going to be loading their own leads or anything else, they're just going to be using the system. User level one's fine. If they're going to have to have any admin interface access, they have to be set to at least user level eight. Um, I'm just going to leave this one set to one. I'm going to put it in the, the main group. Make sure that they're in the proper group. Um, we're going to set this one as phone login. I also like to match mine up, so if I've got a user number that's 2002, I usually put their phone login as two, you know, CC202 phone password 1234 hit submit now, as you can see we've got a new user and if you don't need to change anything about their uh, access options you can leave it at that set them to force change password so that they don't have their dummy password in there anymore uh, that way when they log in they'll actually have to choose a new password uh, I also like to usually turn hotkeys on um, but after that when you've got somebody that's going to be set up as a base user you wouldn't modify any of this if you want them to be able to do any of these options you do have to set them to a user level of eight and you can pick any of these things that you want them to be able to do and they won't be able to modify their own settings so you you can do that and, and pick any of that after you're done you hit submit down at the bottom of the screen now we've got the user the next step here is to create their phone so you go into admin go to phones add a phone we're going to call this phone extension CC202, which is what we picked earlier. Dial plan number be 202. Voicemail box 202. Outbound caller ID is whatever you want it to be. Um, it's normally going to be their cell phone number, their desk phone, their office phone, something. Something so if they somebody gets that and gets the number, they'll actually call back and get that person. Um, if you leave it blank, you'll end up with a lot of people that won't answer the phone because they'll get a like an unknown caller it'll be calling from a an undefined number so it'll just come back as if the caller ID is blocked and a lot of people just will not do anything with that if you remember we set the agent screen login on this one to 2002 uh, we're gonna say their login password 1234 registration password 1234 status active active account uh, phone type can be left blank you can put their name there if you want to just to help identify who it was we're gonna call this test user 2 and set them to the correct protocol. Now if you have a double NAT, meaning you have a VichyDAL server that is installed behind a home router inside of a home network, you're usually going to be forced to use IAX unless you are some sort of technical genius. Um, I've never managed to get a double NAT connection with a SIP phone to work ever. IAX will transverse it, but you will have to use um, some sort of VoIP company that is going to offer IAX. Off the top of my head, I know Vitality does, which is who I normally hook people up with. Um, or you can also use VoIP Street. They both offer IAX transmissions. So after you do that, you hit submit. Now, this user has a working phone. Now, if they're going to be sharing a campaign with somebody, you can leave it at that. Um, you just have to go in and make sure that they are able to access the campaign that they need to be able to use. And that's it. They're done. Um, if if um, they're going to need their own campaign, you'll have to create them a campaign and a list, and I'll show how to do that on another video. Uh, anyway, that, that'll be the end of this.